Hey there Titans, in this video I'll show you how to encrypt your URL parameters that you pass down to your form in order to pull up data. This will help you improve your, further improve your form security. Alright, um, so let's take a look. This form um, does a very simple task. We're going to pass in an account ID to the hidden and using a URL parameter and it will pull in the account data. So let's take a, let's take a look at our get. So just grabbing an account. My condition is account ID equals to my hidden account ID. So let's publish this and see how it does. All right, now I just need to pass the parameter. So it's in my case, FLB32 equals, let's grab the account ID and let's make sure that's my field. Okay, so it's FLD31, my bad, and we'll hit enter, and there it is. We have the account data. Now, the, the problem with this is that we're exposing to the outside world our account ID, and then people can manipulate this, maybe get a different account from what you're intending them to get. So what we want to do here is encrypt the field that we're exposing to the outside world. So let me show you how you can get it done. So we've added an amazing new feature in our form Titan package for Salesforce that will enable you to do it from and to any object you like and to any field you like. So my first step here, what I'm going to do is um, add a new custom field on the account object. And again, this can work with any object you like. So I'm going to head over to setup and make it shorter so I'm just gonna do edit object and I'm gonna go to fields and relationships so this is just adding a new field and I'll name this field that will be a text it needs to be at least uh, 32 characters long um, let's do encrypted account ID and you can name it whatever you like, whatever makes sense. And I'll give it a 50 just for the fun of it. And let's hit next and we'll save it. So that's step one. Step two, I'm going to head over to my setup and we're going to grab the uh, API name for this. So let's search it and I'm going to grab the field name API, API name for the new field that we just created. I'm going to head over to setup and I'll go to process builder. You can do it with a floor, with a flow or with the code, whatever you like. Simplest is process builder. And I'll create a new one. I'll call it encrypt count ID. And record changes. This is pretty standard. And we're going to add an object account. And I want it when it's created or edited. And I'll hit save. You can do only one created, whatever fits your um, business needs. So I'm just going to say encrypted empty. And we're going to look for our, our new field. And we're going to say is null true. Then I want to process it. My immediate action will go to Apex. And we're going to go to FD encryption util. Now watch this. First thing it asks me is for the record ID. So the record ID is for the object, the record that I want to encrypt right now. So in my instance will be a field reference and we'll go to the account ID. That's what we want to encrypt. The next thing is the field API name to save encrypted uh, data. 
So I want to save it to my new field that I just created. So the API name, if you remember, I just grabbed that from the after I created the uh, field. So it's encrypted ACC underscore ID C. And the object API name is account. You just need to type it in like that. And the field API name to encrypt in our instance is ID. If you want to encrypt a custom field, you will just put it in here. You could encrypt any field you like and save it to any field you like. Obviously, if it's text, if it's like a, a number or a, or a date time, that doesn't make any sense to use it. But if you use ID fields or text fields, that will be perfect for that. I'm going to hit save and we will activate. Let's confirm this and I'll head back to my account. <clears throat> now the only thing I need to do is um, just to trigger this is to edit and save something. So here is my encrypted account ID. So let's uh, change the industry and I'll hit save and let's see what will happen. And here is my encrypted account ID and that will work in my instance whenever you either create a new account or update an, an uh, older account or you can also run a script to um, run the encrypted uh, account ID on all the existing objects. So now the only thing we have to do is go back to our form and change our condition. Um, so let's head back to our form and I'll go to my get. And in my condition, instead of account ID equals ACC ID, I'm going to say encrypted account ID equals my ACC ID. And we can go ahead and change the label of the hidden as well. So we're going to do encrypted account ID. And now if I'll just go ahead and refresh this, it's not going to bring anything back because it doesn't match our condition. But if I'll go here and I'll pass this as a parameter. So I'll grab this guy and I'll pass this one. Here is our data. Now you're a lot more protected and there is no way of someone guessing a different uh, account ID or any, ob any other object you're uh, using with your form title. And this is how it's done.